Morning, folk. So a friend of mine, Mr. Project Games, who also makes content, wanted to know, how the hell do I make so much content at the moment? So I thought I'd show you. I opened the garage door. I put the light on. Obviously, I've had to put the phone on the tripod already. But I pop the phone on the tripod. I stand it close to where I'm working. And then I just crack on and do some work. And what happens in between, happens in between. Welcome back to the channel. We only have one sale going out from eBay yesterday. One sale. One. But it's a big one. I think we'll just get that one out of the way first, just so it's done, because it's quite a good value. And also, packing is going to be a little bit iffy. So where are we? Box Q. Yeah. <sighs> oh. A six pound we have a remote control going out and it's actually off to hmpps her majesty's prison and probation services that's it that's all it's got Whoop. Whoop. Ship. Doop. Bop. done <laughs> actually i'm gonna put that in another one just to be sure put it in two but that's it that's all we've got going out on ebay today so let's not be deluded Let's not be deluded. Me getting myself into a new routine schedule and incorporating YouTube into my life now as a daily life thing, not just as and when, has a negative effect on my eBay performance. Because what I am doing regarding filming and edit editing, filming not so much, because it is just basically a part of my life. I'm just sticking the camera up and talking. But while I'm explaining these things to you, they all add up into minutes and minutes add up into hours, and then hours I could be putting into my eBay. So of course there is a negative effect and a knock-on effect regarding production to my eBay store. But that is okay. Because like I've mentioned, I want... Why did that come out of my bank? PayPal. Ah, yeah. Leslie put money in my PayPal, can't you cheeky swine? Thank you, Leslie. What was I saying? Yeah. You think about a lot of the most successful people in the world, they all suffer quite a lot before they make it. Now, I'm not saying I've got anywhere to go or anything to make, but I do have a plan of integrating YouTube into my daily life. So because of that, I've got to go through a little bit of turbulence before we straighten things out and get things into that Zen mode, into that status quo that I need, which is fine. I'm happy with that. I'm okay with that. I'm not dying. My bank account's okay. Everything's okay. I can afford to restructure my attention for now. So we don't worry about that. But I am going to start tidying this place up and getting this section here ready for the table. I had a notification from DPD today saying that they're expecting my flexi spot parcel, which means it'll be here. But as always, it's going to be an honest review. If the table's shit, I'm going to tell you. Oh, speaking of shit, probably have to bleep that out as well. So yesterday, or whenever you see this video, I was trying to upload a video where I went on a bit of a rant about whatever and also getting stuck behind the lorry and a few other things. So my normal sweary antics, along with two other things that I was swearing about, YouTube just wouldn't allow me to correctly publish the video. So I edited it three times. That little bit where Stormzy pops up about me being disappointed. I actually had a one second, half a second clip in there of Stormzy saying, still disappointed. If you don't know the track, go and check it out. It's great, if you care. So I removed that and it still said issues. So I was like, what the f***? So I requested human verification, took that out. Still said it. So I thought, it's got to be the swearing, it has to be. So I went through the video and counted how many swearing words there were and how close together the swearing words were. And I realised it was that. So I had to go through and censor beat them, which I hate doing, I hate it. Because swearing is swearing. It's not like, I don't know, people... It's a bad word. It's not a bad word. Who gets to say what's a... Anyway, forget it. Forget it, right. So, I had to censor myself. I don't like censoring myself. I don't like it. But for me to remain doing this properly, I'm going to have to think about how much I swear. And that fucks me off. But I, I understand, though, to be fair, yes, there was a particularly sweary video. The edit you saw had all censors in it. It had mutes, and it had loads of other bits actually cut out from the original. <laughs> Mainly getting stuck behind that lorry. I parked into the parking spot, which is normal. It's where you're supposed to be. And a lorry came in and decided it was going to start unloading. I think the, the shopkeeper called him and said, no, 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 there's cars there. You can't, you can't, you can't. But I didn't know any of that until I got to the end and then saw the shopkeeper sort of manoeuvring him where he needs to be for now. I thought I was there for like an hour. Oh, and I was getting so hot. It's a black leather car. 
Anyway, let me do some work. Let me crack on. I'll see you in a bit. On a nice little picture, what even time is that? 20 to 10. Managed to get the projector photographed and the BT answering machine photographed. I want to get loads of this big stuff here pictured. There's Leslie's bag. Leslie wants this bag. Leslie! Yeah, I want to get a load of this bulky stuff listed from around here today, pictured. I'll put pictures up throughout the day of the actual listings that I've done. So you can see where we are. Probably want to start working on that bag as well. I just see where the day takes me. Because it is Friday today, which means it's Ada's dance phase, baby. So I have to take her to dance phase at quarter past four or four o'clock to be ready, which gives me nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, seven hours, seven hours today. That's a good amount of time, isn't it? That's good. I don't think I've got anything to do in between that. I don't think, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Have I sworn? I hope I haven't sworn in this. So we've managed to get the Dr. Martin's photograph at least and an Alba portable stereo, which happens to be broken, unfortunately. It doesn't read the discs, but somebody will still buy that. And the tea towel, the Irish tea towel. I've sent a message off to 99 Vintage about the Reading shirt, see if he wants them. Hopefully we can get a few bits moving today. Leslie has just bought the Jimmy Choo bag, four pounds paid, 20 pound free postage off to the lovely, lovely Leslie. Thank you so much, my darling. Oh, I thought I'd take you along. Oh, on this one, that needs to be peeled off. All I'm gonna do is get them in weight order. So 500, 200, 200, 100, 10, that's an ounce, whatever that is, five, and an ounce. Can't believe that's how big an ounce is. It used to be a lot bigger back in my day. Let's close that lid up if we can with one hand. There we go, that's a lovely picture for eBay. Simple, really. Never mind, just saw that it's a quarter of an ounce, so uh, it makes sense. Leslie's package, all, sh all ready to go. We've double bagged that in case one split, so it's nice and protected. That should be on its way to you shortly. So this video is more about me just showing you how easy it is to film your day. So YouTubers out there, especially reselling YouTubers, who are kind of constricted when it comes to content. It's either cherry shops, look what I found. Car boot sales, look what I found. There is more that you can do. Don't feel constricted, because that's how I felt. I felt stuck, I felt pigeonholed in. Now I'm just sort of doing me almost. And, is that delivery for me? It is, I think. I'm not even joking, he just walked to my door and then walked off again. <laughs> so, as a reseller, you're pigeonholed in. It's, it, like I said, it's normally, wow, charity shop, or wow, car boot. But there is so much more you can film. People are, including myself, interested in the day-to-day -day processes and the day-to-day -day workings of what we do. So when you're working, you're leaving all of that content behind. Yes, it's extra work. And if you haven't got the drive to do it, I understand it is hard. I'm currently trying to find my drive. As you can tell from the last month, month and a half, coming up to two months now, I have been pushing, 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 making videos because once you get into a routine of it, it doesn't seem that difficult anymore. This making videos throughout my whole YouTube career up to the last three months always felt like a slog, always felt like an extra job. Now I'm incorporating it into my daily life. So I'd like to see more of you guys doing that as well. Be interested, Let's push the content out there. Let's get the reselling back on the map again. Thanks for hoovering Emma. She does a good job on cleaning the house. She's not a housewife, she just cleans the house on Fridays. And I appreciate it. We had cleaners, didn't we? Pointless. They just don't do the same job that we do. Paying 40 quid for a cleaner to come in the house and we're coming home spotting bits they've missed. We could have missed that ourselves for free. Everyone said we was all bougie getting cleaners. No, we're just busy people, so we don't want dirty houses. So we just thought 40 pound every two weeks, it was worth it. Emma does it now. We all do it, but Emma, de Emma does it on a Friday more deeply. So yeah, I just wanted to show people, I'm not, this video is not finished yet, but I wanted to show people that make content about reselling, it doesn't always have to be about, wow, look at the mega find. If you've got a personality which people can attach themselves to or they like, which a lot of people have said they enjoy watching me for me, sounds really weird saying that and almost big headed, but I need to get past that self-sabotaging stage of defiance, of negative self-talk. People are enjoying watching me and what I do. So. I have to take that on board and realise there is content to be made. Just something for you guys to think about. This was mainly aimed at Matt, Project Games, who mentioned to me in, in, the, in our friend group chat 
Like, how are you doing it? How are you getting all this content out? How do you find the time? As mentioned, my eBay has suffered a little bit, but I'm just incorporating. I'm slowly doing this. I'm slowly gelling eBay, YouTube, and I'm slowly doing this. Do you know what I mean? That was so corny. <laughs> that was so cheesy. Uh, but that's what I'm doing. I'm meshing. I'm meshing the two together. Mm, mm, mm. If I keep doing this, it could get sticky and I might break a finger, Ricky. Cut that out. No, leave it in, not bad. Right, back to work. So now, because I am my own boss, I can change what job that I decide to do throughout the day. So I've done some photographing, I've done some sorting, I've done my packing, which was very small today. I've sent a few things across to people interested in things on Instagram, so I've done that side of admin. Now it's time to do a little bit of listing. I've taken all my photographs from my phone and I've airdropped them all to my MacBook, which are in nice, neat little folders. I'll show you that now. There are, of course, many different ways for people to list and do things, but this is how I like to do it. I've got folders inside a separate folder here, eBay photos, A to Z, and then box and not scoot. When I first start taking pictures, I take a picture of the box that I'm gonna put things in. So I've got that to work on in my camera file. Once I've taken my photos, I'll then airdrop them to my MacBook and put them in the corresponding folder, A, B, C, or D. Today's folder, one of them was C, so you'll notice in here we have the Alba Stereo, we have the Dr. Martin Boots, we have lots of different things in there from today. And then what I'll do is just start listing, and then I know what box they're in. So I know how to screw it up when it comes to doing my actual listing. So I'm gonna crack on and do some of that now, I think. I'm not going to show you me doing all of them. Time lapses are already boring as they are, but I do want to show you something else as well. So when I'm listing on eBay, I like to use templates. So your custom templates, you can create your own and create whatever you want. I've got clothing new, clothing used, discs, electricals, hi-fi working. I used to have hi-fi non-working, plush, TCG. So if I have clothing used, for example, and click insert, it'll automatically bring up all of that. Condition, good pre-owned condition, measurement shown in photos, used clothing, blah, blah. Anything that I wanted to say, it will say that automatically. Haven't got to keep typing things out all the time. And I like to add that in there, especially in big bold letters, because it saves me typing out all the measurements in the description. Okay, so basically, look, it's got all the information that I want. TCG, insert, I've mentioned that it's pack fresh, because normally it is, and how it's going to be shipped. So thin sleeve, semi-rigid, or however it's going to be. Of course, you can come in. What have you got? I found this thing on the floor. What is it? Um, a nail? Yeah. That's a big nail, isn't it? Wow. I wonder where that came from. Let me see the bottle you made this morning. You made that all by yourself, didn't you? Show this. No, no, no. Yeah, see, look at that. You made it all by yourself. No, it wasn't all by myself. It was my, I made it and Mummy did. Oh, okay, and me helps and help the Mummy. It's very pretty. Right, now, if you want to earn your money this weekend, you've got to do some bloody well work. Get to work, no more messing around. Get some work done. Right, now tell me, how much should I be paying you for your work today? Uh, um, one. One? No problem, you're hired. Shake my hand. So basically, there is an option to have templates in your eBay. So do that. Have a look at that if you haven't already. And it will save you a few seconds per listing every time. It might take you 10 minutes, 20 minutes to actually create them all. But once they're done, they're done. For fuck's sake. Oh, pain. Love her, but a pain. So, just, oh, I was about to give an update. So... <laughs> For the people who I was talking to about creating content and where you find the time, it is now 10 to 11, quarter to 11. And I've got all of that stuff out that you've seen so far in this video. So it can be done. It can be done. Obviously, it's going to take me probably an hour and a half later to edit the video. Sometimes quicker, sometimes longer, depending on what's involved. So there's that as well. Just things to consider. But my job now, without some big boring timeline, is to get all of that stuff listed. I've listed the Dr. Martens and I've listed the... Open all hours. Nope. Are you being served DVD and something else? So I'm going to get the rest of that listed now and come back to you. Dan, this one is for you, my friend. 
I am so, so bad at it. I always forget to turn it on. Always. I just like having it there. While we are on the subject of comments, I just want to highlight Dave, the Dave. He always says thank you. I enjoy reading everybody's comments and all of your comments are very important to me and I love going through them. But it's really nice to hear somebody just say thank you. Thank you. It's like somebody who understands the process behind video making. Cheers, Dave. Thank you. Beep, 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 beep. Must be 14 minutes past 11. Oh, would you look at that. I just want to find the person who set that alarm and ask, why 14 minutes past 11? Is it because you had to do something at quarter past 11, which took you less than 60 seconds to do it? That I understand. I don't know. Just wish I could find the fucking thing. I've got a guy that parks his car just down there. Yeah, I don't know how he feels comfortable with that. I wouldn't want to be driving it or having my car parked there. Ooh. I'm going to go and check though to make sure he hasn't damaged that car. No, he's all right. Good driver, good driver. So I'm editing as we go today and I've just pulled the clock down from up there and I notice I haven't told you, I've listed it. I've fucking listed it. I've actually done it. I need to get a new one, but that is gone. Gone. Well, it's not sold yet, but it will be. You can't read the fucking thing. Today is the day that we actually finally start putting Leanne's stickers on the boxes. I was going to start peeling them all off, but that is a massive chore in itself. So I'm just going to go around and stick stickers on all of them. They are so cool. And look at them. Even though I'm going to change my logo soon. But Leanne, thank you so, 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 so much. They are super cool. And so much better than those handwritten ones. There we go. Much better. But something very annoying has just happened. I have just realised H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-Q-R-S. Where's the P? Where's the P? <sighs> just something else I've got to do. Another box. We're going to chill with Tommy Trades while I do a little bit of work. And now the man is live. Say hi, Tommy. Live. Oh, you can't hear me, can you? And any decent sales today, rookie? What? Any standout pieces? Ha! 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 Inception. If you haven't already, go follow Tommy video Trades. Lovely, lovely bloke. Shut up a minute, though, mate. This morning. Try to do a video here. Yeah? Lovely, lovely bloke. Very down to earth. All right, my lover. Big up, Tommy. Let's not forget Gigi, though. Do you have anything nice to say, Tommy? Uh, currently working and filming. Oh, currently working and filming at the moment, and you're going to be in the next one. Ive, do you have anything nice to say? Well, I do have something lovely to say. Selling is hard, but it's much harder to get up every day and work for someone else, make money for them, and take home a percentage of the value you create. Whereas if you can work for yourself, yes. even if you don't make a business out of it, yes. invest in yourself, you will grow exponentially and you'll take over Ricky. You'll have a bigger business than him. Yeah! He'll be rocking up into his garden like, Oi, my boy, where's all your boxes? Yeah! But there's no random story. You can do it. <laughs> Believe in yourself. It's way better than working for the man. Fuck yeah! How's that? Great! How's that for something nice to say? <laughs> Oi! <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't expecting that absolute bomb of knowledge, but he's right. He's 100% right. I've said it time and time again. I'd rather work for myself for a few quid than work for somebody else for a little bit more and trade all of that time and bullshit. Go on, Tommy, lad. Such a performer. On that little nugget, the time is now 12.28 p.m. And we have done some work. We've done some photographs. We've done some listing. We've done some admin. We've done some other admin getting some pictures across to people who may be interested in some things. We've done some filming. We've edited along the way. This is just the outro to the video. So it proves it can be done. Now, of course, once this camera goes down, I'll do a little bit more work. I'm going to go to the shop, drop some parcels off, go see my pals at Greg's, get them to hook me up and then do some more bits in the day. But it's been three and a half hours and I've done all of that and got a video out for you. So anybody who makes content or creates content or is thinking about moving into creating content, I've had a few inboxes recently telling me of new channels that are just about to start. It can seem overwhelming and daunting and a bit too specific at first, but once you let all of that go and just film, you'll be all right. You can get some content out there. 
I look forward to seeing it all. I've been charging up the DS ready to do the giveaway. Unfortunately, I have noticed a problem. I'm still going to give it away. It's still going to be a freebie. It's still good, but I don't know if it's the charger or if it's a charging port. But when you plug it in, you have to kind of knock it to one side a little bit to get it to charge. But it's still a cool piece and it's still going to be free and it's still a good giveaway. It works. So we'll do that in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate everybody's comments, time, support, love and effort and energy when it comes to my channel. And I hope for some of you guys out there considering doing YouTube, this shows you it can be done. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.